guys, welcome back to John John Gaze. Today we are doing a new system on our Goldie here. We are doing the RV locks. So we are not only doing our main door, but our storage doors as well. So instead of just doing the one handle into the RV, we're gonna do them all. They look really nice, they'll look cohesive, and plus side, one key for all the bins. That'll be so nice. Um, we're doing this because there was an occasion we went to the pool, um, we didn't have a key with us and somehow our door locked. So we sat around two hours waiting for a locksmith, spent a hundred at least dollars. Um, and yeah, that was the last straw and this is what we're doing. And um, we have had a little bit of issues with our lock as well anyways not working um, obviously working when we didn't want it to so um, yeah we're gonna do this whole new security locking system and uh, hopefully you enjoy the ride with us this is our original lock we're gonna remove it I sent pictures to RV lock and they sent the one that should fit for everything, so hopefully that's all right. All the installation stuff I've watched and the instructions say this is really easy, just a matter of like 10 minutes. So it shouldn't take me any longer than double that because everything I do, I seem to have to do twice. So we start out by removing these four screws. And of course, because it's an RV, it's a square head and not a Phillips or a straight edge. So now I need to go find my square headed screwdriver. Five minutes later, finally found my square head. Now we can get back to this. We got off the original handle, it wasn't that bad really, which is a shocker for me because usually everything I do is way harder. Besides finding a square head to remove the screws, that was the hardest part. We were able to get this all wedged into place. Uh, it looked like it didn't fit at first, but it actually does. It doesn't fit exactly perfect for what was painted previously, so we'll have to caulk around it to kind of cover that up, but it'd be a good way to seal the water out. Nothing's ever gonna fit perfect when you're doing an aftermarket thing. And when you have full body paint, it just kinda is what it is, but I'd rather have a lock that works than not. So now we just need to put on the back plate and see if that snugs all this up in the right place. And if that does, then we're good to set the code. have successfully got our new lock in um, and now we are going to set the keypad um, and we're just going to follow our instructions. So it simply says hold down the 8 button. So we're going to hold that down. Oh, hold down with the lock button. Sorry, here we go. Uh, releases a long beat. Default. Then press the lock button. Key a new code and press the lock button. Okay, that was fairly simple. Took us two tries, but you know what? We're good to go. We can get in, we can get out. All right, so now for the key fobs, programming them. Also again, super, super simple. With that, there is a reset button on the new door panel that we just put on. It's on the back side, um, and you just hit that little button. It's gonna give you a three beep combo, uh, which means it's ready. So from there, you're gonna take your key fob here. As you can see, there is lock one and lock two. 
Um, so I chose lock one for the one fob and lock two for the other fob. Um, and lock one, lock two. Um, okay, so three button combo. You hit the lock button or the unlock button on the fob and basically you're set. Yeah, super simple. We also got latches, uh, latch locks, whatever, for all of our compartments from RV lock. Most of the standard latches that come all have the same key so your neighbor can open your trailer as well, or at least your compartments, and we wanted to try to avoid that. So we got all these uh, new locks to put on and new keys with it. They're nice because they have a double-sided key so you're not always trying to figure out which key goes where and how to get it in there, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to go through and put these on. This whole process has been super easy, and all the stuff seems to be made really well. All right, so we are all wrapped up on this project. Super, super easy. Yeah, yes. it took a matter of maybe 30 minutes altogether. I was surprised at how easy it went on, but also how well they do work. It's going to be nice having different locks on the baggage doors that all are keyed to the same as the front door. Instead of going through and sifting through keys, the key fob uh, will be absolutely. really nice. Yes. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if you are interested in RV lock on their website, if you purchase it, enter the promo, promo code JauntJunkies15 and save yourself 15%. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend.